Once again, Joe Biden has completely embarrassed himself as he forgot what happened a couple of days ago when he made that scary, weird speech against half the American population who vote Republican. Here we go again, Joe Biden. We talked about this on the channel a couple of days ago because remember, he stood up. <laughs> he made this really weird uh, 1984 style speech uh, with the, the, the black background with the red lights and his soldiers behind him like stormtroopers. And uh, he basically said that the Republicans and MAGA supporters are a threat to the country. Now, get ready for this. This is my favorite thing that's happened recently. So, <laughs> this is what happened. So, I'm going to show you this clip. Um, and then on the left side, this was, well, it says today. This was yesterday. And the speech on the right was the day before. Watch this. I don't consider any Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism. That threatens the very foundations of our republic. Um, so what? Okay, let's just double check. Okay, there we go. So he tweeted on the left. This was <laughs> this was uh, the original tweet. Donald Trump and MAGA Republicans are a threat to the very soul of this country. And on the right, do you consider all Trump supporters to be a threat to the country? I don't consider any Trump supporter a threat to the country. I mean, how, how can you forget what you said the day before? How can you forget your own narrative? I mean, we, we always say, like, in a, it started as a jokey kind of thing over the last few years that certain type of politicians are just puppets and all this. And there was a point to it. But we've never seen a true example of a puppet. He's, he's, he's literally a puppet. Because you know, we've seen clips of uh, his wife literally dragging him from this side to the other side. We've literally seen him being there given notes where it's been written exactly what to do, how to move, how to raise his hand, what to say, how to say goodbye, where to go. And, and even with the instructions, he keep miss, messing it up. Now, I feel sad because clearly this guy is too ill to actually be in charge. But it's not really about him because if he is too old and too, too ill, then he's a threat to the country because he can't really operate properly. And the people who are running it they have a more dangerous agenda from your Kamala Harris's to everybody else, Nancy Pelosi and everybody else in the, the Democratic establishment who are pulling the strings, metaphorically. <laughs> I hope it's metaphorically because <laughs> it would be very, very weird to see that. Um, they, they're even more dangerous than if it were a, a younger, healthier Joe Biden back in the day. Even he wasn't that bad compared to the people who are uh, the puppet masters and pulling the strings of Smelly Joe. So it, it is a bit weird. Um, but we have to talk about this because it is in the interest of even Britannia and people of this country to make sure that America is stable because it affects us directly, not necessarily just because they're allies, but because they're the American empire running the current world order. This is the situation. Now, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who watched our videos every half an hour. We came to you guys with all the updates. Make sure to go and check out all the other videos that we uploaded Throughout the day, we talked about the United Nations Refugee Convention. We talked about the Albanian migrants. And we talked about some ministers trying to rewrite history of the lockdown days and also the German farmers who are rebelling against their government. Definitely check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Click on a bell. Click on all. That's the best way to get notified. And my TCNV are the media.